watching News 8. The Rochester City Ballet is presenting Sleeping Beauty at the Nazareth Arts Center coming up this week, May 17th through the 19th. And I'm delighted to welcome Julia Erickson to the program. She is staging Sleeping Beauty. Hi. Uh, good to meet you. Thanks for coming in. Great to meet you, too. Thank so we you. say staging, and uh, there's the term that I used. It's a little awkward, the stager. What, uh, what exactly are you doing to help bring this story to life? Well, this uh, ballet was choreographed over 100 years ago by this major guy, major choreographer in ballet, Marius Petipa. And what people do now is they restage it for in an appropriate way for their respective company. So I'm basically reinterpreting the choreography as it is appropriate for Rochester City Ballet. Now these are uh, in some ways uh, challenging movements and steps for our dancers here locally. Uh, and in some ways, they will do this ballet in a way that it was not done 100 years ago, right? Well, I wouldn't say that they're challenging for these dancers. In fact, these dancers, I find, are very adept and are probably dancing it better than the original dancers. But it's a smaller company, and so we had to retrofit it in a sense. Um, also, it's a more classical ballet. It's the first uh, pas de pas ballet that Rochester City Ballet has done. Mm -hmm. And so it's a fun challenge because there's there's a certain style to it that they have to kind of adhere to. But their technique absolutely holds its own. Your experience uh, as the principal dancer for the Pittsburgh Ballet Theater, how have you utilized that to uh, assume this new challenge or role in your career? Oh, it's a really cool uh, moment for me because it's kind of a liminal time in my life, kind of post being a principal dancer, but not always in the front of the studio. So what's great is that I can impart the knowledge that I learned from other people dancing like the three major roles in this ballet uh, throughout my career. Um, I can impart it to these dancers and I can also kind of demonstrate it for them in a way that they can understand it. So that's it's been really f fascinating for me and it's been a rewarding experience. Ultimately, when audiences see this performance, what do you hope they'll take away? I mean, it's got beauty, it's got love, it's got magic, it's got trickery. It's, it's basically an iconic love story, but they're going to see excellent dancing and they're going to see like a, a wonderful evening of dance for all ages, I think, too. Rochester City Ballet at its best. Absolutely. They're, they're stunning. It was good to meet you. Thank you for coming in, Julia. Really Thank appreciate you so your much. time. So Sleeping Beauty from the Rochester City Ballet, your opportunity to see it this week. Tickets, as always, online at rochestercityballet.org. We're sharing that link on our site as well at rochesterfirst.com.